Malang Beach, the tribe have repaired much of the camp's devastation. That done, their thoughts turn to more pressing matters, mainly hunger. They're not that big, it's nearly about 10 a day. Obviously, I'm absolutely starving hungry. We haven't had anything to eat. But, I mean, even though I'm this hungry, there's no way I'd eat rat. I'll tell you what, a few more of those we can have a fur coat. <laughs> I think that I'm basically going to have to be more than starving. I'm going to have to be dead and have just my last bit of energy to put it in my mouth before I hit a rat. How did you feel then? I can't see that. I'm not in the least bit upset. Really? Not in the least bit. Oh, God, no. I don't know whether I want rat. Me neither. No. Really? Yes. Well, for oh, you, love. It's not going to be like this. It's not taking me top of that. Yeah, I know. I just don't know if I can it. I'm quite happy with the coconut. I'm not that hungry. I mean, they're about the healthiest rats you're ever going to find, honey. Yeah, but I don't no. want to eat it. Don't want rats. Thank you very much. That was gravy. Mm. They should have a survival special of Ready, Steady, Cook. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've turned up with rats, yeah. eating rice. Not a rat. I think the sauce is crucial when eating rats. Oh, it always is, though, isn't it? <laughs> Who wants the drumstick? Here goes rat, then. It's really nice. Flavour <laughs> 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 more I'm joking. <laughs> no, gravy. Thank you. Gravy. It is really nice. <laughs> it's it's like chicken, really. Yeah. It is like chicken. <laughs> Think it's correct. It doesn't really taste like anything, does it? For the tribes, this is the big day, the immunity challenge. The losers join me at Tribal Council tomorrow evening. Not only are they worried about the challenge itself, but should they lose, they'll be concerned about who they're going to vote off this island. While Halang have just had their first taste of rat, Ula have decided to open their emergency rations. You're going to be so happy. Oh. You're going to be ever so happy. Where's the juice? Oh. I can't believe I've done that. What have you done, Mum? I threw the juice away. No! Yeah. You're getting after it. I made a really stupid mistake. I was getting hot and bothered around the kitchen. Lots of people doing things, not focused on one thing, and threw away pineapple juice. Well, in a normal situation, that wouldn't be a big deal. Did you cook it with fruit juice? No, I threw it away. Oh, why? By mistake. Total oh. mistake, because there was all this palaver about dishes and bowls. And and I thought it was a bowl with the coconut water, you know, the oh, water. And I yeah. just went, I wasn't sorry, I'm really sorry, I wasn't thinking. At this stage, you know, that people voted off. Yeah, sure. It's kind of a catch-22 thing. You get locked in, you know, if you're not eating right, then you start to feel dizzy. Then you make you know, mistakes. And making a mistake like that, you know, could get me voted off. Don't worry. We need you for the immunity challenges. <laughs> then, then you're off. <laughs> Is that what you want to say? Gosh. You can at least say golly gosh. JJ, could you uh, bring the immunity idol here? remind you that if you win this immunity idol then you get another three days on the island guaranteed if you lose then you will be at tribal council tomorrow and one of you will be voted off the island today's challenge is all about ensuring the survival of one member of your tribe what I need you to do is to nominate one member of your tribe to be taken off into the jungle and hidden so can you nominate those people now please Okay, Eve and Jane, you could stand under the tree over there. Right, for the purpose of today's challenge, you have to imagine that there's been a crash landing. Your colleague has bailed out of the aircraft, 
the parachute has become entangled in the trees in this jungle. Your job is to get into the jungle, to rescue your colleague, and to stretcher them back to the beach, putting the stretcher on this platform here. The first tribe to do that wins immunity. It's as simple as that. Only it isn't quite as simple as that. You've now got 15 minutes to construct your stretcher from materials you find on the beach here. Halang on that beach, Ula on that beach. 15 minutes. Go. <laughs> Yes, their colleagues are around a quarter of a mile away, deep in the jungle. Right, there's a few things to say to you. The easiest way to reach your colleague is by following the blue mask in and the yellow mask out. The second thing to say is to remember to put the stretchers on that platform when you get back. The third thing, which I neglected to tell you, was that only four of you can carry each stretcher. So nominate those four people to carry the stretcher. The others stay behind here. Will the four line up with their stretchers behind this line? Survivors ready? Go!
so exhausted, I was beyond exhausted at the end of that game. I just, because I collapsed, I think, three times. The first time I got up myself, more or less. The second time, JJ just screamed at me, get up! And I felt like one of those cadets in the uh, paras or something. That got me up. And then I fell down the third time. And then Jane said to me, think of your five kids and your wife. So that just got me up the third time. I don't know how I got to the end, though. I felt terrible. I felt so exhausted. Ula returned to their beach to find an unwelcome visitor in camp, the extremely venomous banded sea crate. It's most likely to have come from nearby Snake Island, a magnet for snakes here in the middle of the South China Sea. by something. I just felt something go like that. And obviously, having just seen a huge snake, it was the first, but something just came out of the net and went like that, so I don't know what it was. It's starting to hurt, but I, 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 it could be psychological. I just... It is way spooky out there. It, something was in the net. This is definitely a puncture wound, but we don't know what it is. Nothing feels funny, it just nothing feels funny around it now. My hand feels alright. I just got the fright of my life. I had a real fright. And the girls just like, I don't think they even asked if I was alright or no. And I thought, right. That's someone that could have bit you. Oh god, look at that! Uh. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> well, I've yeah. told it. You can see why I thought it was a snake, though, when it was... Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't question. Wouldn't you? <laughs> no, I'd like it I was out of the water like a torpedo, no. like that. Boom! May I do one of those? Because I, I think you should, sorry. Because... Sorry, I've just got to chop the head off this... Look at those teeth. Having lost the immunity challenge, tensions within Halang are visibly mounting. Nobody knows what the f anything is, and I'm starting to get f off. All we're doing is saying, Where's this? Where's that? Does anybody know where this is? Does anybody? We should know where these things are. Look at the place. up there because that's where all our really important tools are that is hacking me off beyond belief. We're always counting water bottles but you know where they are. JJ is certainly, she's far too overpowering for me. She's, she's bossing people around and she makes you 
too frightened really to get involved, too frightened to do things because she's shouting at you, no, don't do it this way, do it this way. And she's trying to lead everyone and people don't want to be led. We want to work as a team.